What's up y'all, this is Rob from Bricks Fitness. And today I'm gonna tell you why you need to throw your scale in the trash. Basura. I understand how obsessed we get about that number on the scale, right? Trust me, I drove myself nuts. It affected me emotionally. It sometimes, you know, discouraged me to the point where I didn't feel like working out anymore. I felt like giving up on this whole journey. There's a lot of common misconceptions when it comes to weight, right? There's a difference between weight loss and fat loss. Two totally different games. You want to lose fat. You don't necessarily want to just lose any kind of weight. Your weight is comprised of three factors. Body weight, fat, and muscle. The last thing you, you don't want to lose muscle because muscle is what our bodies use to basically burn fat. So that's why you see those big diesel dudes, you know, I'll be jealous of them. They can eat whatever they want and water weight, that number is going to fluctuate. That's why if you've ever gotten on the scale one day and then the next day you got on and it's like eight pounds more, it's your water weight. And there's so many different factors that contribute to why your water weight fluctuates up or down. One of the biggest reasons why your body may be holding on to more water is your sodium intake. So depending on how much salt is in your diet, that determines how much water weight that your body retains. So if you drop your sodium, a lot of times your water, uh, the, the water that your body is holding on to will decrease, therefore dropping the number on the scale. Now this doesn't mean that you're losing fat though. So the scale may be going down, but that doesn't mean that you're actually getting smaller in size. It just means that your body is releasing the water that it was holding on to from the sodium. Another factor with the whole water weight situation is your glycogen, your glycogen levels. I always have a problem saying that word, your glycogen levels. And that's basically what your body uses for quick energy, right? So most of the time that comes from your carbs. So if you're eating a low carb diet, you may not be retaining as much water but the minute you eat those carbs, that water weight is gonna come back. So that's gonna show up on the scale. I remember being so stressed out and so obsessed with that number on the scale to the point where it did damage to me psychologically. So when I tell you the best way to keep focus is to get rid of that scale, trust me, it's coming from experience. The best way to track your progress is through measurements and through the mirror and through how you feel your energy levels, how well you're sleeping. These are the things that's really gonna tell you how well you're doing. The number on the scale isn't gonna tell you accurately how well you're doing because you may get on the scale one day and it went up six pounds because you're retaining water or you're gaining muscle, which is a whole nother thing, and that may discourage you. And you may have been on the right path, doing everything right, but now, because the number on the scale went up, you're now unfocused and you're now discouraged and you're now down. So the scale is bad news. Get off the scale, throw the scale away. If you must keep the scale, try not to weigh yourself more than once or twice a month. If this video was at least a little bit helpful, I want you to please subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment. The comments, man, try, that's like my oxygen. So when you guys let me know how you're enjoying the videos or if you leave me questions, I love that. So I'm um, please, 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 please do that. And look, don't forget, don't be a punk. Wake up in the morning and punch life in the face.